Hello everybody. It is pretty early here still, but I'm trying to get started on this canvas I've been working on uh, because I have to allow time to dry in between doing all my butterflies. So I decided yesterday I needed to add some gold butterflies. So that's what I'm doing. And I am so glad I came up with that idea because this is what the canvas needed. It needed gold, I just wasn't sure how to do it. And then I remembered I had this uh, butterfly stencil. So that's what I'm doing. So I did my first batch and now I'm waiting for, uh, it's all dried so now I can do some more butterflies. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm just putting on butterflies with uh, wax. And they harden really well and then afterwards I can come back and um, sand it just a little bit. Let's see if you can see the whole, see the whole, uh, let me move the camera back a little bit. So I'm still drinking my coffee, um, but I wanted to get this done. So now my special tool, this is the best tool in the world for uh, stencils. So that's what I'm using to spread this on. And I'm just going to press down on my stencil because um, this is an old stencil that I've used and it's kind of raising. So you want to make sure if you have an old stencil that you're going to press down once you put on your product. And so I've covered up all the butterflies. Um, I don't want to do this section here. I'll raise this when I'm done and show you how gorgeous this is. But uh, this, this gives a shimmer that I wanted this product. So I'm covering up the ones that I don't, I wanna make sure I don't touch it with my wax. bigger ones are a little harder. Hopefully you guys can see. And you're going to see some lines. I don't know if you can tell, but right here there's a line. Uh, it's just from how you spread the product on, but you can just kind of lightly sand the lines away. So don't panic about that. It's because you're, you're, you're spreading it on, right? So there's gonna be a line from, but this tool is the best tool ever for spreading product. And you just go back afterwards and just lightly sand. You can lightly sand everything down. You kind of have to get it on thick and then you uh, spread it and you kind of make it flatter with your tool. And that's why there's lines. But I love this wax because it just gives a really nice um, shimmer.
try to get off any extra wax um, because you don't want clumps on here. But I'll lift this up and you guys can see how pretty this is. How long does it take for that wax to cure? Um, it dries pretty fast. I think I did this yesterday and I didn't, I'm waiting until this morning to do this, but these butterflies actually dried. I think it was a couple hours and they dried. So um, you just want to make sure that you don't move on until this whole area is dry because if you lay your stencil down, you're going to damage what you've done, right? So, but I think the wax dried in a couple hours. And I'm just using this wax um, that I have in my online store. Thanks for joining me. Just jumping in. What brand of wax is she using? Oh, this one. It's in my store. It's in my online store and there's a million colors. In fact, I was thinking of maybe trying to incorporate this green somehow because I'm doing, there's so much green. Isn't that gorgeous? So we'll see. I haven't decided yet about that green, but I thought... There's a lot of green happening here, and I thought, ooh, the gold would go really well with um, with what's happening here. And I'm almost done this, so I'll lift it up and show you guys. But that's what's so fun about the canvases, right? You can do so many things on them. Well, same with furniture. And this wax hardens uh, very well. It, it's, it's, I mean, this is, this is hard. This is, so it's on there. So just cover up where you don't want to get anything. You know, you could accidentally hit something. So just, if you're worried about that, put all this green tape around. Have you ever had trouble with that wax drying out in container? Uh, yes, sometimes it does. There's a, some of them that came to me already dried out. Yes. But uh, it came to me that way from the company. So you just, when you get your wax, um, once you open it, just make sure you put the lid on really well. All right, so I think I'm done with this section and let me lift this up and we will see what this looks like. Woo, look at that, you guys. I just love it. I love it. Oh man, I'm so glad I thought of this. Look how pretty. Can you see how they shimmer? They shimmer because of the, uh, this is gold wax. So these all shimmer actually. These are metallic waxes. So they all shimmer. And I'm loving this. So what I need to do now is I need to wait until this section dries. And then I'm going to add a few more butterflies um, up here maybe. Just maybe a couple more, but can you see the background here? I don't know if you can tell, but the background is actually writing. I'll tell you what happened. So my first plan was to have all this script, and I'll show you what, I'll show you the stencil. So what I did was, this is the stencil that I use, a script stencil, and I wanted this to be all writing, was my first plan. And so I, I laid this down and I actually used a crackle paste, which I actually used this uh, crackle paste through the stencil and it's a, um, 
it's crackle it's crackles right so I laid it down and then I came back when it dried and it actually started peeling it was chipping away so that actually turned out to be a pretty cool thing I don't know it's maybe uh, maybe that product is damaged but it was crackling everywhere and the paste was actually chipping off you guys so what I decided to do was I, I just went with it sometimes you have to just go with um, what you think is damaged and so I got my tool here and I actually removed all the crackle paste I went like this and removed all the crackle paste but what was left behind look what was left behind the script is all still there in the background see all that white writing can you tell all the white writing that's the leftover um, from the crackle paste so I just went with the, I love that now I love that the white part of the crackle paste is still left on so then I can I thought you know I still need gold somehow then I came up with the idea of using the gold uh, wax through the butterfly stencil so this is very layered um, and sometimes you know it's, uh, it's called happy accident sometimes these things happen thank you thanks for joining me so there you go so this is the majority of this first I did the dripping paint my dripping technique right with different greens and creams and then um, this is the most of this is this transfer fern woods right so it's all leaves and ferns see in the bottom down there that's what it is and um, most of it is this and then I added just a little bits of flowers here and there using this the little bits from this transfer thank you thank you so just a little bit here and there and a little butterfly and there's a bee somewhere here there's a bee um, and if you can see I saw a comment this morning can you see how sometimes it does um, it kind of cracks a little bit but you know that's okay there's little cracks when you put a transfer on canvas can you see right here there's little cracks there but I actually love that I think that looks really good it's part of the part of the um, just part of the look right you just kind of have to go with the cracks so it just happens sometimes on canvas but I love it so there you go that is what I'm working on and um, there's just so many products you can use on canvas so just want to show you guys I have to let this dry a couple hours and then I'm gonna come back and just do a little bit here and there but you want to make sure you go and clean what did I do with that you want to make sure you go and clean your stencil now so what I do is I go put it in my bathtub and I have this scrubber here I have this scrubber this was just from the dollar store and I just scrub the wax or the paste whatever you're using off your stencil and then you just sit and let it dry and then you can just reuse it so if you go clean your stencils right away uh, you just reuse them over and over again so there you go let's see I mean actually I'm in my jammy so I'm trying not to show you me there you go you guys so still working on it all right thanks you guys before you put a transfer on do you seal it uh, no Cynthia I did not I did not seal the canvas before the transfer or before anything this is raw uh, I actually just use chalk paint different chalk paints and then I sprayed with my water to get that dripping that's happening so no it's raw it's raw I never ever seal anything before I I put everything on raw paint um, and I use matte there could be issues if you're using gloss paint with transfers so I use matte uh, I tend to use chalky paints everything goes on raw paint and then afterwards is when I'm going to uh, seal it and I might actually do I might glaze this I haven't decided yet so if I decide to darken it with glaze I'll do the glaze and then I will seal it probably with Annie Sloan wax or Jolie paint wax and the wax is going to be my sealer um, I could also age it with wax 
So there you go. All right, good, inspirational, good, I'm glad, I'm glad. So thanks you guys, if there's any other questions, I will answer them. And this is the spreader, you guys. These, these spreaders are incredible and they're in the store. So there you go. And I don't know yet about this green. I might use this green uh, because it's so gorgeous, but I haven't decided yet how I would even use that on here. So anyways, thank you for joining me. Hopefully nobody saw my jammies. <laughs> and have a good Sunday.